In part one, I talked about the incredible benefits of cauliflower, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, detox, digestion, so many things, and why you should make this a regular part of your diet. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome cauliflower mashed and then twice bake it, both of which are better than any potatoes that I've ever had. But more importantly, for now, let's talk about why you wanna replace potatoes with this. People have heard potatoes are good for you, they're not good for you, what's the real story? Well, potatoes are high in carbohydrates, but particularly a type of carb that makes your blood sugar level and insulin spike and then go down very rapidly, or what's known as a very high glycemic load. In fact, it's about the highest glycemic load of any food. One cup of potatoes has a similar glycemic load to that of a can of soda, and it's more than table sugar. Now this up and down roller coaster of insulin makes people feel that they're hungry again, which can lead to overeating, which is why proteins and fats that are digested slower makes people feel more satiated than these empty carbs. Now potatoes also have an anti-nutrient in them called saponins, and they have been shown to lead to leaky gut. Now there are some benefits to potatoes like they're high in vitamin C, but it's easy to find other foods that have more of the same nutrients, like broccoli, for example, has nine times the amount of vitamin C. Now, eating them sporadically is okay. They are better than wheat or uh, white flour, or, and they're gluten-free, but if you are going to eat them, be sure to include some healthy fat with them to lower the glycemic load. So that would be like ghee, butter, or coconut oil. And this is really one time that you wanna to listen to your body. Do you feel tired? after eating potatoes, I know that I sure did. And some people even complain of uh, joint pain. But you really have no business eating this if you're overweight or you have diabetes or have some sort of autoimmune or other food allergies. And that's why this will make a great replacement for that. And cauliflower is also very low on the glycemic index. So to start with, we're gonna cut this up into small pieces after washing it. After cutting up the cauliflower, you could steam it or boil it. I prefer to steam it because boiling has been shown to negatively impact the enzymes in them. If you don't have a metal strainer to steam, the easiest way is to put it in a pot, add three quarters of a cup of filtered water, just to cover the bottom of the pan since we're just steaming, put it on low with the lid on for about 10 to 12 minutes. You know they're done when you can easily put a fork in and pull the fork out. Now you want these as dry as possible since they absorb water like a sponge and excess water will make them runny. Now at this point, you could just take this and the rest of the ingredients, put them in a food processor, and just process them up, but that comes out a little too creamy for me. I like mine to have a little bit more texture. So I'm gonna go old school style and just mash them up myself. Then add a tablespoon of olive oil, a half a cup of butter or ghee, and remember, getting butter from grass-fed, organic cows, preferably unpasteurized, is good for you. You can see my vlog on the health benefits of saturated fats, but you could also replace this with Greek yogurt, sour cream, or cream cheese. And next, we're going to put in Himalayan pink salt, half a teaspoon of it. And one clove of garlic and half an onion. Now, I like to saute them in ghee or coconut oil with rosemary for about three minutes. And an easier option is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, or you can use garlic salt. Now add some parsley, and just by itself, you have an awesome garlic cauliflower mash. But we're gonna take it a step further. Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Next, add two thirds of a cup of shredded cheese, and you could use any cheese you like. I'm gonna use cheddar. And I also like to add herbs into this since it's an easy way to get them into your system. I'm gonna put fennel, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. A half a teaspoon of each, and you're barely gonna notice that they're in there with the garlic and the butter. Next, put some coconut oil on the pan. And put it in the oven to bake. Bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. You want to bake this until you see it burning a bit at the ends. 
Add some more cheese on top at the end and you're going to love it. The full recipes for this and more will be at theartofunity.com. So that's it. Both are really simple and really healthy and it shows people that health food can also taste great so you might convert some people into health nuts as well. Don't forget to subscribe and next we're going to look into healthy ways to make Brussels sprouts that also taste really great. And for more, you can check out our Healthy Recipes playlist on YouTube, as well as recipes on the site as well at theartofunity.com. Good luck with this.